the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we gather to celebrate the Lord's Day, we continue our celebration of the great Easter festival as we commemorate the ascension of the Lord Jesus into heaven, who is now seated at the right hand of the Father and will come again in glory at the end of time. Let us acknowledge our sins now to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have ascended into heaven and are seated at the right hand of the Father. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you promise us the gift of your Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. Let us pray. O oh God, whose Son today ascended into the heavens as the apostles looked on, grant we pray that in accordance with his promise, we may be worthy for him to live with us always on earth as we will with him in heaven, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the beginning of the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered 
appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. is thrown to shouts of joy, a pair of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a pair of trumpets for the Lord. All you peoples, clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness. is thrown to shouts of joy, a pair of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise, sing praise to our King, sing praise. God mounts his throne to shouts A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. What are the riches of glory? in his inheritance among the holy ones, and what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe in accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one 
who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. with you and with your spirit the conclusion of the holy gospel according to matthew Glory Glory to you, Lord. Lord. the eleven disciples went to galilee to the mountain to which jesus had ordered them when they saw him they worshiped but they doubted then jesus approached and said to them all power in heaven and on earth has been given to me go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. How good it is once again to be able to celebrate with you. And today we observe the ascension of the Lord into heaven. A couple of things, though. We began uh, the celebration of public masses last weekend, and it went really well. So I'm going to invite you to consider the possibility of maybe signing up for one of the masses this coming week. We still have room on uh, several of the uh, masses that are scheduled. Second thing is one week from today, is the Feast of Pentecost, the birth of the church. And if you recall, the color for next Sunday is the color red. So as your family gathers uh, for prayer, the reading of the scriptures, and to participate in the Mass, uh, either online or however, uh, wear the color red to celebrate the uh, fires of Pentecost and the birth of the church. Our Gospel reading for the Feast of the Ascension is the closing part of St. Matthew's Gospel. And in that Gospel, it, Matthew records for us the, the final spoken words of Jesus. And no doubt, the last words of anybody are always kind of important because it kind of sets the stage for the, the end of their life, yet uh, a direction for that which is yet to come. And that's certainly the case here. Uh, in the words of Jesus. So he's gathered his disciples there on top of the Mount of Olives. And the disciples, they're really not so sure about what's going to happen. Maybe it was something like this. Uh, on a beautiful spring day, 40 days after Easter, Jesus says to his disciples, he says, let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. And Jesus realizes that these are the last few moments that he will be physically present to these men. So they go to the top of the Mount of Olives, and at the top of the Mount of Olives, they can see out to the city of Jerusalem. They see the glory of the temple. They see Mount Calvary where Jesus died and whatnot. And Jesus gathers them around him. And as he does that, he looks at them. He looks into the face of each of them. There's Peter, and there's James, and John, and Matthew, those disciples. And in doing so, he realizes that he's about to leave them. And the entire uh, future of the church rests 
there in these 11 who are gathered around him. And he must have realized that every single one of them, except for St. John, would die a martyr's death. In other words, they would die as a witness to the resurrection and the power of the gospel. So then we have those parting words. And in those parting words, Jesus gives the direction and the energy for his church until the end of time. And he says to them, he says three things. The directions are simple and very much to the point. He says, from this moment on, I want you to go out and make disciples. Second thing I want you to do is baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Those are the same words that we use for baptism now, 20 centuries later. And they're also the same words that we use when we sign ourselves with the sign of the cross, the sign of salvation and redemption. And the third thing that he tells them is this. He says, he says go out and teach. Teach the people to observe everything that I have commanded you, the commandment, love one another as I have loved, with, loved you. And with those words, well, maybe a dense cloud like a fog or a mist uh, encompasses them on the top of the mountain. And when it dissipates, Jesus is gone. He has ascended then to the Father. And as we hear those final words of Jesus, they, in a sense, that's the, uh, the mission statement for the church. This is what the church is about. The church is about to go out and to make disciples of all nations, to make disciples of other people, to tell them the good news that Jesus Christ has come. God loves them, was crucified, died, rose from the dead, and is now in heaven. And he offers to each person the possibility of living their life in a whole new and exciting way. You should think about going out and making disciples. In some sense, every single one of us, we have received the message and the invitation to discipleship, to follow Jesus in our lives, and to make the values of Jesus our own values. So here is the gospel challenge for this week. Uh, it's kind of an easy one. So here's the challenge. Sometime this, during this week, Set aside maybe 15 minutes, uh, 15 minutes of prayer. Do what you can to remove whatever distractions there are. And first of all, invite Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, come to me. Lord Jesus, I want to spend this time with you. And once you've done that, ask yourself this question. Who in my life is the person that has brought the good news of the gospel to me? Who is the person that has helped me to be a good disciple, a follower of Jesus? Maybe it was a parent, or maybe it's my spouse, or maybe it's somebody that I, I have known, and they model for me what it means to be a disciple. So that's the first thing. And once you name that person, then this week, pray for that person by name. Ask Jesus to strengthen the bonds of discipleship between you and that person and ask God to continue to sustain that person in their journey as a disciple. And then after that, ask the Lord, say, Lord Jesus, help me to be a good disciple. By the power of your grace, help me in my journey as a good, holy, and faithful follower because, Lord Jesus, I want to be your disciple. Let's stand, profess our faith in the Blessed Trinity. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. 
he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom has no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. The Lord Jesus ascends to heaven, not to abandon us, but to be our hope. Filled with joy, we offer our prayers and needs to the Father. That the people of God will live with an eagerness for heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all people affected by COVID-19 or any serious illness, the elderly and homebound, as well as all medical personnel and caregivers for the sick, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the authority of heaven will guide the actions of our leaders, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all Christians may witness to the presence of Christ in the world through generosity and faithfulness to the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who have died, that they may enjoy eternal life with Christ, who reigns gloriously in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, may we live in joyful expectation of Christ's return, keeping faith until that day when we can sing your praises face to face. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, you will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
लक्ष्मी बनकरी पंचमी हमारे साथ Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, his only begotten Son, our High Priest, is seated forever living at your right hand to intercede for us. Grant that we may approach with confidence the throne of grace and there obtain your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder, mediator between God and man, judge of the world, and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they sing this song. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Patrick, and all the saints 
who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed to be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life.
Let us pray. May the gifts we have just received from your altar, Lord, kindle in our hearts a longing for the heavenly homeland and cause us to press forward, following in our Savior's footsteps to the place where, for our sake, he entered before us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And your Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended.